Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of the P glycoprotein enzymes and their role in drug interactions. I've already put out a similar video for the SIP enzymes, so make sure to check it out. I will put the link down below and at the end of this video. Now you see that like and subscribe button? Please hit that button. Remember, it costs zero dollars to do this, so please just show some love. So this is kind of how the P glycoproteins look. It's known as an efflux drug transporter. So its job is to kick the drugs from inside the cell to the outside. Now these proteins can be found in different parts of your body. It may line the blood vessels and kick drugs out into the blood or in the colon where it will kick the drugs back into the colon to be excreted. Same for the kidneys, the liver, and it helps protect the brain from any foreign substances also. Now because of all that I just mentioned, these proteins can affect absorption, distribution, and elimination. Now the downside to these peak glycoproteins sometimes is it's able to kick drugs out and it could lead to drug resistance. So this could be found in tumors and also microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. But wait, there's more. We have drugs that actually induce these proteins. So in this case, we have drug B, which is a P glycoprotein inducer. So it will induce a P glycoprotein that normally drug A is a substrate of. Well now, not only do we have more of these proteins, but they're also working pretty well now. So it will end up kicking a lot of drug out the cell, leading to a reduction in the distribution, the therapeutic effects, and increasing the amount that's possibly eliminated. Very similar to the SIP enzymes, this interaction can be strong or moderate. And here are some examples of some strong, moderate P glycoprotein inducers. So the inhibitors of the P glycoprotein lead to an opposite effect. Now we have drug B, which will inhibit a P glycoprotein that drug A is normally a substrate for. Let's see what happens. So because of the inhibition, the drugs that are substrates of the P glycoprotein inside the cell won't get kicked out, leading to a potential increase in the therapeutic effect. And here are some examples of strong to moderate inhibitors. And that would be the end of this video, very straightforward. And I hope I was also able to give you a visualization of how the P glycoprotein works. Please, once again, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Majority of you are watching these videos but are not subscribed. Please, show some love. It costs zero dollars. These videos are only meant to help you guys. So give me some props. Hey. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.